Hi guys, thanks for joining me on my life on a hill. My name is Tracy. Please don't forget to subscribe. So today I'll be doing this ASMR pedicure on myself. And if you guys saw the previous um, ASMR video, this was the pedicure that I um, previously did. And now I'm getting ready to remove it with, with acetone and also um, a swab in order to take it off. So sit back and relax while I do my pedicure. So I'll be filling the foot container with warm water and I'm going to be using my love the smell light elegance pedicure um, spa treatment. So I'll be putting my feet inside while it vibrates and massage periodically with the top um, part of the foot soaker and I'm just trying to get my feet um, all laddered up and see I'm just scrubbing it right there like a massage it feels it really um, soften up the feet you guys it tickles a lot but it softens up the feet so um, the ASMR that I wanted to do was for sounds but my boys are home and they were making a lot of noise um, and normal noise with, with kids in the house and I didn't want to interrupt so I decided to do a soft spoken ASMR and hopefully that can relax you while I do my pedicure and imagine imagine I'm doing a pedicure on you guys okay and you um, your feet and you know right about now most of us are ready for a pedicure I'm not sure what state you're in but we are still in California not open to do pedicures but when I do do nails I really do it um, manicures and I do dry manicure at that the I rarely I have any the only time I do pedicure is on a couple family members but it's never soaking but now I will do more soaking because I want to give you guys a full version of softly smoke spoken ASMR and the sound effect of different things so anyways right now I am cleaning up my feet I'm just cleaning underneath but I will be putting on my cuticle oil which is from orally it's a cuticle oil um, cuticle oil it's a remover for cuticles it is great I love it you you put it on and by the time you put it on the other feet it is time to um, do whatever you need to on your feet to take it off because it works that fast it's a wonderful product to have you guys so i'm just pushing back my cuticle and scraping up the little probably paint that i wasn't able to get off because i have long long nails underneath my gloves and you could check out the video with that as well to see the nails that i have on you might see it in towards the end because my glove broke <laughs> it broke by accident you guys but anyways just go ahead and clean up around the area my feet was soaking for about five minutes, just sitting there doing nothing. That's not normal for me. It's just that I'm always on the move, you guys. So, um, but anyways, what are you guys doing? What are you ladies doing right now? While, um, you know, in some, like I said, some states, um, salons are not open, um, nail salons are not open. So what, what did you guys do and what are you doing now in order to make your feet not look ratchet? So I, I'll tell you a trick to this. What you need to do before you soak your feet, if you have a lot of work, is to cut your nails down and file it to the shape that you want. Then you soak it. And when you're done soaking it, it's easier then to cut inside the cuticle area, the sidewalls. And, and clean it up. The reason why I say it is because when your feet's already soft, like right there, it's easier when your feet has been soaked for a while to get into those little corners. But right now that I'm trying to file, it, my nails are breaking because they're so brittle, right? So, but make sure before you soak your feet in water that you go ahead and file it and shape it. Then make um, you could do the side after soaking. So I'm putting on a, my polish. So this polish is basically a mask. And if you do a dry pedicure, um, basically no water, what you can do, so I'll have that sit on the side while I tend to the other foot. So what a dry manicure really is, is you're not soaking in your feet. But what you can do is um, use the same product, but instead of putting 
the first the one that goes in the water to soak you put that in a spray bottle and water and shake it up and then you spray it on your client's feet or yourself you spray it like if you don't want to take out this stuff all the time or some states allow you to be mobile and if you don't you know necessarily um someone that's bedridden they can't get out of bed and they can't soak their feet this is a perfect way to do it so what you do is spray it on their feet and then cover it up with a damp towel and let it sit there for you know five to ten minutes you take it off you wipe it off and then you go ahead and you do what you have to do go ahead and treat the feet take care of the feet clean it up again I would recommend that you file and shape your toenails before you soak it because it will be brittle after taking it out of the water but for the sides if you have to clean up the um, clean up the side of the nail beds for your ingrown toenails I don't have that issue but I like to clean it up and it's easier when it's soaked so then you could do that part after your feet comes out of the water you guys so but anyways i didn't have that much to do so i just clipped it down clipped it like that instead of trying to file it i filed the left toe the second to the last toe i did that by accident and it broke so it went a little bit lower than i wanted it to be so that's why i totally forgot to do that part so that's why i'm telling you to do that but anyways so if you have a client and you're going to their home and like I said if, if you want to do the dry you spray it and then after you're done take off the, the wet damp cloth towel, um, towel and wipe off the feet um, you go ahead and take care of it clean it up get it ready and then so another thing that I like to do when dealing with lacquer is that I prefer to put on the polish first and then do the oil and the lotion and massage and um and after put on the polish so first i put on um sorry i put on the the lotion massage the feet then the polish if it was gel polish you could put on a gel polish first and then um put on your lotion and your whatever you need to massage the feet the reason why i do the lotion before the polish is because the lacquer for me takes longer to dry and when i'm massaging my feet i don't want to have to wait a long time for it to dry to do it so i do it before so i, I lotion and oil and massage then polish and when i'm done now right now i'm washing off the little mask that i had on there i'm washing that off cleaning up my um inside of my toenails i mean the um the skin inside so that there's no dampness okay that's when fungus can start forming there yeah so therefore get back to why i do what i do so then after um you can see right here i'm like i told you the lotion and the oil and i massage my feet now when time to put on the polish or gel polish make sure you take um alcohol and you wipe that wipe your nail bed off because now you have oil back on your nail bed and nothing will stick to an oily nail bed okay i will show you that i will be doing it but after i do my other um foot so i'm just cleaning up the inside guys you know my back is hurting yes it is but i have a roller and i roll on it and it helps so so much but i'm at home I'm able to do my own feet. So I, the last video I put on, I'm not sure if this is going on my second week or I've already accomplished second week. So I decided to use the buffer to just not um, necessarily shape it, but just to clean it up because if I file it, it was brittle. That's why. Okay, so I'm just using the two side of the buffer in order to help. And now um, I'll be putting on the um, lotion and oil on the next foot and massage my feet hey this is no fun massaging your own feet you guys but it gotta get done you want to know why we want our feet to feel beautiful i'll tell you a trick one of the reasons you don't see me scraping my feet so i'm done and i'll show you right now that i'm taking alcohol and wiping the nail bed off so one of the reasons you don't see me foul my feet is because I put coconut oil on my feet every night. Guys, I put coconut oil on my scalp, on my hair, 
on, on the parts because I do have a spot. So that's what I'm putting on for the base coat because um, I had on previously, I had on dip powder and gel and it messed up my nail really bad. So I'm trying to build it back and so it's straightening it up and it, after one um, time of putting it on for a span of two weeks and having on the polish, it's starting to look so much better. My nails were looking really purple and dark inside, you know, so that's why I put that on. So anyways, I put coconut oil and organic, by the way, making sure it's organic. That's orally purple right there that I love you guys I love it love it love it so I use coconut oil on my like I have a spot on my forehead where um like the baby hair where it's going away on one side and have a, a, enough on the other so at night time I just put a little bit right there and I'm telling you I use coconut oil for my face sometimes for my armpits if I don't have to go anywhere and do a lot of stuff that's my deodorant for the day because I don't like deodorant it has aluminum inside you know, and you know what they say about that. So I use coconut oil, but if I will go somewhere for a long period of time, you know, I have another organic one that I use and I use that. And then I use coconut oil for my body, for my legs, for my feet. But if you put coconut oil on your body, guess what? Your hair will grow. So my chin hair will grow faster. My leg hair will grow faster. But it's okay because it's a healthier version and I love the way it makes me feel. Now, some people doesn't like the smell of the coconut oil, so you could scent it with some essential oils, whichever your favorite smell scent is. At ladies, I'm telling you, if you have crack or ashy feet, make sure you use coconut oil. I did not have to file anything. I didn't even have to do a soak. I just did it to spoil myself. So, how do you guys like this color? Um, you know what? I'm a fluorescent type of person, but I like in this color. Um, you know, and another thing, I didn't do it in this video, but if you have issues with getting the corners and it making a lot of mess, don't paint close to the corners, um, or the um, cuticles leave whatever space that your brush will allow you to do this is a thicker brush but i didn't put on that much polish so when i did put it on um it wasn't oozing to the sides when i did my second layer it kind of i did do a boo-boo on that part but one of the trick to do is leave the corners alone and then touch it up with a liner brush i didn't do it only because it's so hard for me to do my pedicure leaning forward so I try to make it one you know a one job situation so this was two layers and a top so base coat two layers and then a top coat so um and then of course I will put it on my rhinestone rhinestones of course you know me I can't do that so if you want to put on like um let's see um, foil on your feet or um, chrome um, anything where you have to rub I would suggest do that one toe in um, a gel because you would have to wait a long long time for it to dry that when you do a lot of times when you do um, start rubbing your feet you can smudge your toe and mess up your toe but um, when you have on a gel polish, and not only that, if you make a mistake and you have to wipe off the, the, the foil or the um, whatever you, um, design, art design that you use, um, nail art design that you use other than rhinestone, and if you make a mistake and have to take it off, you know, you most likely have to rub it off with acetone, right? If it, depending on how long you have it on, you could probably get away with doing um alcohol but then you don't want to have to damage your polish so in that case i do suggest put it on the toe only the big toe with gel polish now if you're a person that have an issue with gel polish on your feet like i do um you know then i would wait a good few hours for your nail toes to dry before you start rubbing and make sure you're accurate because even 
And I know if you're out and about at a um, salon, that's different. You know, they get the job done quick. But if you're out and you make a mistake, you're at home, you make a mistake. Hey, you see my nail is coming out right there. I accidentally um, hit it on something and it um, popped, popped out from the gloves. So, so I'm going on my second coat and um, make it thin coats because, you know, like I said, lacquer takes forever to dry. And, you know, um, I don't want, I didn't, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm clumsy, so it won't take that much. Hey guys, I'm glad you're watching me on my life on the hill. Don't forget to subscribe. So there, I am done. And now I'm putting on my top coat, which I got from Rite Aid. And it's a Sally's brand. And what I will be doing I have a rhinestone um, that I, I have a um, implement that I pick up a rhinestone on, but it's so fat that sometimes I don't see exactly where the rhinestone is going. So I use my dotting tool, you guys, and I put a little bit of um, top coat on it so it sticks. So, you know, not everybody, normal people will probably stop right there, but I'm not normal. I added two more. I'm sorry, guys. But another thing, my toe was still kind of damp. So when I put on the top coat, I use the top coat as glue because, you know, our feet is not in water all day long. You know, you take a shower. Like for me, I take a shower twice a day. And um, so, but what I'll do, I'll also put a top coat on top of the rhinestone. And it's okay because this, this is not Swarovski crystal. These um, rhinestones that I have are really top notch. I put them comp um, side by side with Swarovski's and oh my gosh. I couldn't tell the difference. I couldn't. And so anyways, I love doing that, you guys. I'm sorry I'm putting on a little bit more top coat than necessary, but I had on the fan, and by the time I was putting it on, it was drying it out and making the nails smudge. But my feet are done. I feel so smooth. Guys, ladies, make sure that when you do get this done, and if you're at home, when you're at home, you know, you're doing your home pedicure, Make sure when your feet are oily or, um, and have lotion, be careful how you walk on the wood floor or the tile. You don't want to slip, okay? So anyways, I'm almost done here. I'm just putting on the rhinestone on the other foot. And I'll, let me tell you what happened to me. I have a little container that I put my rhinestone in, but I didn't want to get up, so I put it right there, as you can see on the um, napkin. And somehow I had the little container, which I'll show you what my rhinestone looks like. I had the little whole tray out and it all flipped over. The purple and the clear got mixed together. I was like, I am done. There it is, look. I love this tray and I kind of love that they come in a four compartment when you take them out. Like, see right there, that's four together. So when, when I had one of the trays out, it was a purple and clear was open. It kind of didn't, didn't lock. I tried to lock it and I'm just putting it in my cuticle oil for getting ready for fo my photo shoot. And my 12 year here, 12 year old will be doing my photo shoot. Yeah, so everything spilled. So I just put sco scoop it up into my little tray and I left it aside. So when I do do um, um, my nails again, I could just have that already out. But I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you relax. And um, please... Please share, please comment, nice comments, and let me know um, what you would like to see next. And don't forget to support my patreon.com slash nail room talk. It'll be in a comment, it'll be pinned, and you can support me there. And also um, PayPal, um, that, me, um, that me, but it's um, nail room talk, you guys, but it's in a comment below as well. So thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing if you share. Thank you for um, liking, commenting. I hope you like this. And um, be kind, you guys. Um, these are hard times for everyone with anxiety issues. I don't have anxiety issues. And I felt like it's time for me to get out of this house. It's really time. So anyways, um, hey, queen, I, I am called, I love rhinestones, but Cardi B's nail tech is queen of bling. So call me the queen of sparkle. So I'm owning that name right now. Queen of Sparkle, because I love everything that glitters. So, Cardi B Nail Tech again is Queen of um, Bling, 
and I am Queen of Sparkle. I kind of like that one better anyways. Anyways, guys, love you. Take care. And always, always a big love. Thank you for supporting my channel. And I just got my um, neon shirt made. I will be doing a better um, trail, um, trailer for my video. So um, please don't ignore the one that's currently there, okay? So take care now. Bye-bye.